All right, guys, what's up? So, if you remember my video where I lost the steer tire on the driver's side, after I got it replaced, I went to a tire shop to have that tire, you know, properly mounted and all that stuff, and uh, try to have the truck realigned, and found out that my tie rods are shot. So today we're gonna replace the tie rods. We're gonna do both of them, the whole the whole assembly. So I'll show you here. Got the new assembly here. Sorry for the mess. I, this is my freaking do everything working on my truck truck or car or whatever so i got the whole the tool i think you're going to need for this job is based off of uh just what you need to take off a big hammer some needle nose pliers and this is a one one and five sixteenths uh socket with you know the big boy right there because i mean all you really got to do to take it off remove the cotter pin and then run that off uh, a tip my dad gave you is to take it off, leave it, leave it sort of like on the last couple threads, and then hammer it down. That way, you're not damaging anything in case uh, you need to reinstall it because something goes wrong for whatever reason. So, and of course, you know, I parked and I got a dirt parking lot over here. So, when I parked yesterday, I picked the spot that was dry. As you can see, it's generally dry over here, except for right under my truck because I parked next to. A dang reefer that apparently is deep thawing or something and has just been dripping and leaking down and then that's coming over and coming right into where I need to be. So that's my luck. So let's just do this. All right see if I can record and do this at the same time here. Did it come loose? Sure as fuck did. All right there's one. I'm going to have to get some sort of, oh, yuck, mat or something for this side. Cardboard or something, maybe. It's in my weak hand, too, my, my left hand. There we go. So now, I'll just get the hammer and see what kind of trouble we have. All right, switch hands. Give her a little couple love taps, see what kind of, if it's stuck in here or not. Yeah, that's gonna take a minute. Hopefully I don't gotta get one of those fork things because then I'm screwed. All right, so day two, because you know, nothing ever just goes smooth. But uh, I, bought, I got rid of these tools and then I couldn't even figure out how to use it. And uh, people said it couldn't be done with three pound sledge and that's what did it. Uh, so I'm kind of pissed because uh, I lost a whole day of work for this. I don't know if maybe sitting in WD-40 overnight helped, but uh, let's get the new one, get this one pulled out, set them side by side, uh, measure the threads, measure the tape measure, get it lined up, tighten down, and uh, reinstall. Son of a bitch. All right, so, I don't feel like popping the hood again. But I got it on. I'm down here at the TA, I don't know if you can see or not. Of course, you would call them and uh, ask if you can get in for the easiest alignment a mechanic's ever had in his life because then you know, everything is new. They say, oh yeah, we got no weight. And then you roll up and then all of a sudden, ah, oh, too, too heavy now. That was three hours ago. So, <laughs> shops, one of, one of the, uh, things I dislike most about uh, the industry is these trucking shops man but anyway so the tie rods got it done drove it it took two days just because the first day they didn't want to come out I, I beat down them with a hammer I I uh, tried turning the wheel I moved the truck they just would not come off uh, decided to cancel my load for today which sucked but came back out. I went to the Advanced Hardware and rented a pooler. Well, the one that's like a like a clamp, but it wouldn't stay on. So I couldn't. Every time I would try to, you know, torque it, torque the. It comes with like a, a bolt on it, and you twist it down. It's supposed to pull down and push up at the same time. 
and uh, it, I couldn't get it to stay on. It fit, it fit just fine, but I couldn't get it to stay on. So I ended up just getting mad and beating it again with a hammer, three whacks or so, and the sucker came off. I think I think sitting overnight with WD-40 on it uh, must have helped. But drove over here to the TA. I called like seven places to try to get into getting an alignment today, and uh, no one could get me in today except for TA. But you know, most of these most bigger shops are just say anything and get you in, even if it's only going to take them. 20 minutes to do the damn alignment but okay, so I sat out I sat out the whole assemblies I pulled it one down I set them side by side I measured them I counted the threads um, adjusted accordingly to the so that each had it mine happened to be like 20 threads that was uh, from the clamp from the from the bar there but apparently I didn't do it right though because it was not a smooth drive over here. And anything above 55 mile an hour, the truck did not seem to like it. So I'm glad I'm here to get it done. Um, I just wish it was, uh, it shouldn't have been taking this long, but definitely not a hard job except for, you know, the thing had probably been on there for 15 years. So taking it off was a chore. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure I still saved money as far as that but then it, it begs to differ you know would I have saved more money if I had a shop do it and then not lost a day of work but you can't always get a truck in the shop on the weekends either because you know banking hours but yep so we'll get this alignment done and uh, should be good to roll I'll update y'all if I ever get in here it'll probably be dark all right, what is it, day three? So I don't really know how I'm going to piece this video together and all that stuff, but I just wanted to give a quick breakdown of the tie rod job and uh, pricing and how, all that stuff, how much money it cost. So, and also, I mean, I'm down here in, in uh, Jackson, Georgia now, and uh, truck rode pretty good. It, it, it was a little, a little different uh, when I started it, and it got better as I drove, so I'm not sure if maybe like the tires were um, sort of set in their ways if you will and I adjusted them or if it's just tighter now I'm not used to it I mean, maybe that's all it is but either way I, I keep I kept getting out and checking the tires and the tie rods and everything and everything's still good and everything's doing doing fine no no weird bouncing or shaking or anything like that so uh, and I did end up uh, I didn't even take I didn't even record actual video at the TA but yeah, I was there for like six hours. <laughs> then it took them um, longer to set up the dang machine than it did for them to do the alignment. And they did a, a, a solid job on the alignment, although I'm not sure that it's like optimal, if that makes sense, like with, as far as toe in, toe out. But it, and it's, it was a lot better than what I did. I was at 0.98 on my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really far off, like nine, ten degrees off, basically. So definitely needed the alignment, um, but it shouldn't take that long. Anyway, different story, different day. Um, so the tie rod assembly, it was, you could buy the tie rods themselves for $140 from the Kenworth dealership, or um, you could get the whole assembly with the, the torsion bar or adjuster bar or whatever you want to call it um, included and both tie rods and had the grease fittings on there and everything like that uh, for $322. So obviously that's what I did. Uh, TA told me they charged $500 to install that. I mean, I guess if it took uh, the force of God to undo that thing, maybe I could see them charging a little bit more for that. But I mean, literally two nuts and some, some elbow grease, or I should say, you just, that's the force right there but got it um, so I saved myself at least $500 there but I mean m me thinking I'd be able to eyeball it and get it close enough to not really need an alignment immediately uh, yeah you live and you learn because that was wrong um, but still a relatively easy job um, as far as you know work on it there's much harder things so 
the alignment cost there was just the one steering alignment cost um, 160 dollars after tax and everything which is which is kind of crazy considering uh, I also had them grease put grease in it just Ken Ward said there was grease in the axle or in the um, tie rods but I didn't believe them and they put a, a good amount in there so uh, I rented a cooler for tie rods that was $142 I got refunded and I didn't even use and I had to go buy the whatever size socket that was one in five sixteenths or whatever it was it was an, earlier in the video that was like 20 25 bucks or something like that and, and then the adapter for the the big the big mamma jamma thing there but uh so that, that was like 40 bucks altogether there so I thought it was worth it and I, I like working on my own stuff and you know making sure that I learn more and I just enjoy it and I feel like it makes you enjoy the truck more when you uh, get your hands dirty so that's that so far so good hopefully I don't have another blowout um, so far so good so if you guys have any questions comment down below uh, and let me know if you do your own stuff all right see ya